I'm James Dold. I'm 36 years old. My name is Xavier McElrathby. I'm 43 years old. Um, my interview partner is James Dold, and he's my former co-worker and good friend. Well, I mean, well, I think that it makes sense to share that, you know, we first met, when we first met, we were working at the Campaign for the Fair Sentencing of Youth. We were, you know, working to scale back extreme sentencing of, of kids. I came to the space totally new, um, never entered a state capital a day in my life. And, you know, and I found myself in 2014 joining the campaign. And I remember, you know, the first time I met you, we're, we experienced a training. You were training me and one other person um, about legislative advocacy and what that looked like. And I never would have imagined that you went through what you went through. I look at you today and the life that you live and what you aspire towards for others, and particularly vulnerable populations and kids especially, you know, and one would never have known that, you know, but I, I'm fortunate to have known you now for years, James, and to have been, been with you, to have been a part of that journey, uh, a part of the journey that really is a, a beautiful manifestation now of all that you went through, of all the trauma you experienced. And, you know, much like myself, you know, I was able to change, grow, become increasingly more remorseful of things that I did. Um, you yourself, you're able to grow, change, and be able to survive some of those ills and be able to become into the full person of who you are, which I think in so many ways we were meant to be. You know, I think that it, was, it wasn't by coincidence that you and I ended up in Nevada, Nevada in 2015. It wasn't by coincidence that we ended up also in North Dakota, South Dakota, Arkansas, and in other places where we were able to advance reforms to, to help ensure that kids, particularly vulnerable kids who have made mistakes, had second chance and had rights to redemption. And so I just want to say that in, in my experience and what we've been through and what I've been able to bear witness and learn from you, James, you know, I look at you as one of my heroes. I look at you as someone who, as much as you've been through, you've been able to, in so many ways, inspire me. And I just want to thank you for that. I just want to thank you for seeing me as a brother and, and most importantly giving me a chance to know that I can be a real change maker. Uh, today there are kids who are you know, no longer faced with the prospect of dying in prison because you brought me along and you helped me to learn what it means to be you know, a change maker and you allowed me to be a part of your magical, <laughs> your magical efforts, really, just to be there with you and to experience that and learn from you. I appreciate you for that. And I appreciate the campaign for bringing us in that space, um, an opportunity to ensure that our past harms and all that we went through really could be, you know, really just, you know, um, sort of redefined as a way of positioning us as best as possible to help other kids who, who deserve, you know, hope. And so I just want to thank you for that, man. I love you, man. And, and I love you, too. And you're one of my heroes, Xavier. I mean, I think I was telling folks earlier today at this conference that, you know, really what it means to be a change maker is to transform your suffering into hope for others. And I don't think that there's been a, a better example of that and how you've used your life and your life narrative and uh, to to change the outcome for, for people all over this country who... Were kids who were much like you, you know, in the same situations. And I think that's the most uh, inspirational thing you can inspire to. And so uh, you were one of my great heroes as well. So thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank <laughs> you. I love you, man. I love you too. <laughs> you have to try it, man. Every time I talk to you. <laughs> I told you we didn't have to I told you we just got to be ourselves and just, we always have. So James and I, we've, we've been on many trips together. We would just have, at the end of the day, we would get a drink and we would sit down and we would just, we'll go off into discussion and just talk. And I think those are more, really the most formative moments for me to be able to like, to know, hear, and understand what led to that, you know, yeah. to that adventure that I was being in that place in the first place, you know.